everyone, um, I'm Dan. Um, today I'm going to be showing you spin paths. So if you can, try and go outside, but if not, uh, go inside. But make sure you ask permission first. So spin pass is a really important way of passing the ball in rugby. Because um, when we pass it, it makes the ball spin through the air, which makes it go really far. But it means then that it's also really hard to catch the ball. But it's an accurate pass, so if your teammate catches it, most likely they'll be able to get the ball in space and score. So to do the spin pass, um, I'm going to be passing off my right hand side um, towards this chair, but to pass to the left you need to swap it around. So, left hand goes at the bottom of the ball, right hand is just there to support the ball. And what you're going to do, you're going to look at the target, which is really useful. Start with the ball the other side of your body, you're going to push the ball across your body, your left hand's going to curve in the air. So can you see what's happening with the ball? It's curling, and that's where the spin comes from. And then once you pass the ball, you're going to point your hands where you want the ball. So, get something to aim at. Um, so I'm using a chair. And then what we're going to do, we're going to kneel down. So, left hand at the bottom of the ball. Right hand's supporting it. Look at our target. Ball across the body, spin, frame a pass. We want to frame a pass because it's going to be a good one. Once you've done that a couple of times, practice passing it the other way and we're going to have a bit of a competition. So, using the mat and the chair, you're going to pass the ball at the chair. If you hit the chair or your target, you get five, you get a point. If you get five points, then you move a little bit further away. Because this pass, as I said at the start, is a long distance pass. We want to try and be accurate by passing further away. I hope you enjoy this guys. Um, yeah, have fun practicing it. 